the Stun James Chester Cup will kick off week four then. It's Chester week already and a decent sized field for this, two and a quarter miles. And it's a 0 to 110 at the top. Looney Tunes of Ball Rose. Dyer Shana, Sister, Graham Clutterbuck, King at Knightley on Van Rensburg. Nine Lives, Joshua Sutherland, Beam and Diamond Jubilee. Craig Beckwith, Validation, Joshua Sutherland, Charming Princess, David Hooley, Hanaba Turk or David Robertson. Canterbury, John Morgan, Hybrid in October, Graham Clutterbuck, Darwin Starlet, Vinnie Gerard and in the pink, Kevin Meenan. So, decent sized field then. Not too big, and all installed and ready to go. And away they go. And one or two of these drawn wide are going to try and get over to the fence. I would have thought because it's a tight track. Chester, they've got to go around it three times, I think, for this. And it's validation on the inside rail who's going to get off into the lead first of all. So they caught past the winning post then for the first of three times, and it's validation with a lead of two lengths to Canterbury in second, and then Looney Tunes on the inside is third. Then comes Daishana's sister, the grey is Charming Princess. King at Night is on that one's inside. Still caught a bit wide on the track, it's Darwin Starlight. That's about seven wide on the track. Going to be giving up quite a bit of ground and needs to either drop out or drive a little bit closer and try and cut across to at least near where Daishana's sister is, I would have thought. But it's Validation who's set in a strong pace and has opened up by five or six lengths to Looney Tunes in second and Canterbury in third. Then a gap to Daishana's sister and Charming Princess and King at Night. Then in the pink's got the rail as well. Next to that one is Nine Lives and then Hybrid in October and boom, Darwin Starlet after that one. The Haraba Turk is the second of the greys and... Diamond Jubilee might just about be the back marker, but Darwin Starlet is the one widest of the track, although he's only five deep now, which isn't probably too bad. But there's a lead for validation of about five or six lengths to Looney Tunes in second, Canterbury in third, then another gap of three to the grey Charming Princess on the outside of King at Night. Then comes Nine Lives and Diashana Sisters after that one. And then in the pink. Careful doesn't get boxed in. In hybrid in October in those second Graham Clutterbuck colours. Darwin Starlet's getting a bit closer. Haraba Turk, the second of the Greys, is next. And Craig Beckwith's bear are right out the back beam. And Diamond Jubilee with his validation. He was clearing the lead by a good four length still. To Looney Tunes in second and Canterbury in third. Then comes Nine Lies in fourth and King at Night in fifth. And then Charming Princess as they come up past the stand and past the winning post for the second time. This is the final circuit now, and Validation's lead is down to a little more than two and a half to Canterbury who's looming in second. Then comes Looney Tunes in third, and then Nine Lives is fourth. Charming Princess on the outside of King at Night still then. Hybrid October gone past its stable, mate, and in the pink is also still there, but still boxed in. Dyer Shana's sister, Haraba Turk, is trying to get into it as well. He Craig Beckwith paired Diamond Jubilee and Beamer still the back two. But it's Validation whose lead is no more than a length now as the field starts to bunch. It's Validation in the lead. Canterbury in second. Validation kicks on again past the six furlong pole. It's opened up by two again to Canterbury in second. The leader's stable mate. Nine lives coming through into third. Then comes Looney Tunes and Charming Princess. The one coming around the outside with a good looking run is Hybrid in October. King at night. Haraba Turks also making ground in. The Pinks moved off the rail. The Craig Beckwith pair are both weaving their way through the pack. Daishana's sister is the one who's dropped tail out the back but it's validation in the lead now being pressed by the great charming princess then comes Canterbury Looney Tunes Haraba Turk making a good run on the outside as well they're already inside the final three and a half furlongs racing down towards the three furlong point and charming princess gets into the lead validation is in second then comes Haraba Turk Looney Tunes after that king at night and nine lives and Canterbury beam is absolutely eating up the ground and the one that's running into a bit of a cool de sack is Diamond Jubilee but it's Ch charming princess in the lead now being pressed by the second grey Arama Turk Validation still there on the inside then comes Looney Tunes Beam he's trying to get a run through and it's the two greys past the furlong pole then still in the lead Charming Princess and Arama Turk but Beam switches to the outside Charming Princess in the lead from Arama Turk Charming Princess in front Arama Turk here comes Beam with a run on the outside it's Charming Princess Beam's got up I think Beam's got up to take it Looney Tunes finished first and if Beam's got up to win that that's got to be a candidate for ride of the season because he was stone last and he worked his way through 
There's, oh, he's not got it though. His charming princess has held on. You don't want to take anything away from. Oh, it's a dead heat. It's a dead heat. So it's everybody's a winner. Oh, what an exciting finish to the Chester Cup beam. You've got to say, absolutely stone last and weaving his way through everywhere. Oh, charming princess, the grey, hanging on as well. So. Uh, win for both of them there. So Charming Princess for David Hooley and Beam for Greg Beck with Share the Spores to open week four. Looney Tunes for Paul Rhodes was third. Haribur Turk, David Robertson fourth. And Validation, the long-time leader for Joshua Sutherland was fifth. And if that's an indication of what we've got to come for the rest of the week, then it should be a pretty good week.